What's up everybody, it's Death That Brain. I'm back with a whole nother episode. Uh, I promised y'all that I was going to be doing one on the meal. The protein, delicious protein packed meals that I ate. And you are going to see firsthand how we make it in lockup, okay? If you can't tell, uh, I got a lot of items here. But they're very cheap, man. You know, out here, very cheap. And I'm going to show you exactly the key ingredients to making a delicious protein packed prison burrito. First things first, number one ingredient, key to all meals in there, top ramen, okay? I roll with the beef, I like the beef, okay? You can roll with the chicken, you know, but it doesn't really give it that flavor if you ask me. Cheese crunch, chips, uh, what else? Oh, tortillas, yay, 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 you need the tortillas. Of course, it's a burrito. Pickle, vegetables, gotta have that veggies. Second, let's go to the proteins. Tuna. Plenty of tuna in there. It's very expensive in there, but you know what? If you're going to be working out and come out with guns, you're going to need that tuna. Summer sausage. Summer sausage here. Summer sausage, man. You're going to need this. This is key. Cheese spread. Dairy. Got to have that dairy. Pepperoni. Anybody want some swine? What? How? Man, what was that one movie? You know, uh, uh, what was that movie? How do you say it? Swine? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, a lot of people don't like that lock. I'm gonna tell you that right now. A lot of people do not like that in prison. The smell of it, they don't like it cooking it, anything, because you know there's a lot of Muslims in there and they don't like pork, okay? But you know what? I love it. I cooked it all the time. I didn't give a damn what they thought. But that's another, that's another video for you. The Muslims, they, they run damn places, man. Rice. Optional. I didn't really use rice too much, but I'm feeling hungry and I'm going to add rice to it. Condiments. Mayonnaise. Ketchup. Mustard. Hot sauce. And garlic powder. Now, the only thing in there that you cannot buy off of the canteen list or the food list that they give you is going to be garlic powder. But one of my first things that I did, no matter where I went, was become friends with the kitchen staff, the kitchen workers, okay? They would bring back onions every day for me. They would bring back onions, garlic powder, a soy sauce, uh, oil. Uh, those things you can't get in there and buy yourself. You have to get it through the black market, okay? But they're very easy to come by. You just got to ask a kitchen worker that works in there. You're going to have to pay for it, decent price, probably pay like... A summer sausage for uh, a big bag of garlic powder. Uh, peanut butter as well. I used to go and get tons of peanut butter, man. I used to get a trash bag full of peanut butter from the kitchen workers. Anyway, now let's get to the... Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to also need two empty chip bags. Pretty big size, depending on how you want, how big you want your uh, burrito. Now, let's get into the steps. Let's jump right into it. All right, first things first, y'all, we're going to grab the summer sausages. We are going to prepare our meat, okay? Uh, I've already chopped it up here, the summer sausage. You want to cut them up nice and fine because uh, it just works better like that when you're frying in the microwave. Okay, I'm saving this for my dog. Go ahead, give her a piece loose. Yeah, all right. Now we got that going on. Let's do this. We got to get... The garlic powder, man. You gotta season this puppies. You gotta season it up. Don't be shy with it. Mmm, delicious. Alright. Throw a little more in there. Nothing wrong with a little garlic. Throw it in a bowl. And then we are going to put it in the microwave for about one minute. So let's go on ahead and move on to the next. All right, y'all. While that's cooking up, like I say, just put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. It's frying up. Now let's get these vegetables ready. All right, next step here is to add water. You are going to see how high it is. You're going to want to see it have a see-through bag because you're not 
uh, a professional like I am, okay? See through bags so you can see how much water's in there. The rice, the uh, noodles, and the seasoning are in here. Now, we're gonna throw in, I know this sounds crazy and disgusting, but it is not, I am telling you. Throw in the meat. It's already cooked, you ain't gotta worry about it not being cooked. It was already cooked in the beginning, they were selling non cooked meat in there. Rinse that out really quick. And we're going to add the pickle. Okay, pickle and meat's in it. You can mix it up a little bit, you know, so it gets all in between everything. Yeah, shake and bake Ricky Bobby. All right, now let's add up the water. This is a true swole to its max. Hope this bag don't have a hole. Anyway, see the water's not even all the way up to the level yet. You want to get all the way up to about the same level as the meat and noodle, because you want all the noodle to cook. There you go, it's in there, man. It's in there, you see that? It's loose. It looks like a big soup. But I'm here to tell you, in about 15 to 20 minutes of cooking in this bag, all you gotta do is tie it up, wrap it up any way you want. Make sure you, you're constantly doing this, okay? And don't, making sure that it's molding together. But while this is cooking, you're gonna crush up your chips. And you wanna do it kinda quick, because before it sucks up all the water, you're gonna mix the chips in it. So let's get right into that. All right, everybody, this is the next step. One of the final steps. I put barbecue, three bags of barbecue, a uh, little mini chips, and I put a bag of Cheez-Its inside of one of the barbecue bags, filled it up to the rim, and dumped it in. Now, like I said, you can use any kind you want. You're not really going to taste the barbecue or anything at all. But as it's cooking in this super hot water, the rice, the pickle, the meat, everything, you're going to want to blend it all together like it's a big, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a big icing bag full of icing. You're just going to keep blending it together. Now, as this is being blended together, I'm going to prepare exactly what you need to put this stuff on. Now let's get right into that. All right, for the next step, if you can't see, after about 15 minutes of smushing around in that bag, it's whipped up, man. It's like a big casserole. But I'm telling you, this is full of carbs and protein. No lie. And I made a lot because I'm not only going to make the burrito, but I'm also going to make the pizza with the same stuff. It's amazing how much good stuff is made with a ramen noodle. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. If you make this, you will think it is a coarse meal. If I gave it to you, you would think it is a delicious burrito from a Mexican restaurant. Now, this is the second and pretty much final step almost. You're gonna need to spread the cheese on this puppy. Okay. Don't lick the spoon if you're locked up, okay? I lick it because this is my damn house. Alright, I'm not gonna pop that puppy off all the way. You need some cheese spread. The cheese spread helps it to stick all the noodles to stick in place as it's frying in the microwave. You're gonna want to hit the bottom half so that the Tortillas stick together as well. Boom. Like so. Alright. Put a little more on here. And I use everything spicy. This is spicy cheese. What do you think of this, Kaylee? I think it looks very good. What what else does it look like? Does it look like it's mouth watering? Uh-huh. Ah. You are a wise child. And I would really like to eat that. Alright, <laughs> let's get into it. Start dumping this stuff on. Boom. 
Get it closer, so I don't want to spill it. This is rice, pickle, beef, and ramen. This is going to be good, man. I ain't had one of these in so long. I used to have two or three of these a day. It was crazy, man. It really was. You can pack it up as high as you want it. I'm going to make mine pretty high because I'm pretty hungry. It's going to be my lunch. Alright, now we got that done. Pop open this pepperoni. That swine, that swine is smelling fine. Nickel dime, that's, I forget how he says it, and don't mean it sound central, it's funny. Anyways, we're gonna put that swine on there. Would you like some swine, my brother? <laughs> One fish, two fish, blue fish, red fish, blue fish. All right, you won't need a whole thing. Now, you are gonna do a simple wrap. It doesn't have to be super sealed, okay? Because I'm gonna show you exactly why. You're gonna get your third tortilla. This is gonna be the band-aid across the across it to make sure it really sticks on together. Put a little more on there. Not much. You don't need too much. Just where the band-aid's going to be at. Pick it up ever so gently. Fold the ends closed a little bit. That cheese helps everything to fold right into place. And then boom, that's your band-aid. That seals the middle and seals the top, okay? Just like so. Then you're gonna roll it over. You're gonna have some spillage. That's natural. No one's perfect, I understand. Now, let's get in to the uh, wrapping of the burrito and how you're gonna cook it in the microwave. Let me go get the materials. You're gonna need uh, paper, magazine paper, and this is what your trusty empty bags are gonna come in handy for because you're about to be surprised. Let's get right into it. All right. So for the final one of the final processes here, you're gonna need your empty chip bag. Okay. Make sure it's the silver lining ones, not the see-through plastic ones. The silver lining ones, it might sound crazy and unhealthy, but it's not. This is what's going to fry your burrito, okay? It works like a solar panel inside there, okay? So what you're going to do is slide this burrito right on in, okay? And it doesn't look that round right now because uh, we haven't finished the final process here. All right. Now that puppy's in there, you're gonna need some paper, okay? I don't have no newspaper, but that's what's best to use. I have some old drawings, pizza, stuff like that. All right. You're gonna put that burrito just like that, man. And then, this is how you make it round. You roll it up. You roll it up just like so. Fold up the edges. Like boom. And there you go. You got yourself a burrito wrap. Ready to be cooked. Uh, you're gonna get a piece of tape if you want to. Put a piece of tape on this. It's like a hoagie, okay? It holds it together. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it right in the microwave just like this for about five minutes on one side, flip it four to five minutes on the other. And what this does, that bag inside it vacuum seals it and it makes this sucker crispy, man. I'm telling you, you are gonna love it. 
Not to mention the condiments, I'm gonna whip up the sauce, and these condiments are actually, believe it or not, some of the main... Um, Lena! You want some of this burrito? I'll put you in solitaire. That's right, 23 and one. All right, anyway, like I was saying, these condiments, okay? Mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, sometimes soy sauce. Dude, some of these, these are the, these are the main ingredients in P.F. Chang's uh, lettuce wrap dips. So, don't think it's weird mixing all these condiments, because it's definitely not. P.F. Chang's, I don't know if you ever heard of it, they're lettuce wraps. Anyways, let's put it in the microwave, y'all. Alright everybody, so this is the moment of truth. I wrapped it in the bag, you're about to see what this bag does, okay? I whipped up the condiments, this is the mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, hot sauce. And believe it or not, this is a very key ingredient to a lot of dishes out here. And not to mention, I got a lot of leftover because as soon as I'm done opening up this burrito, I'm going to show you what to do with your leftover. Another main course meal in the penitentiary for protein packed meals. So let's open this up. Moment of truth. I haven't made one of these in forever. It's going to look a little crazy. I can tell. It's like the moment of truth. Oh, yes. It's like opening up a Christmas stocking. Mm, I can smell that swine. God, this thing is hot. You're going to usually want it to cool off for a little bit first. Opening this thing up is a little difficult because it's so hot. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Get rid of all this excess stuff. This fries the tortilla just right, I'll tell you what. Ah, it's hot, hot, hot. And usually I let it sit for a good 30 minutes before I even touch this thing, but I'm impatient today. Ha! Woo! Alright y'all, this is the burrito. It is crunchy, except for the middle because the swine tends to let the grease come out. But this is your burrito, can you see the ends, how they're kind of charbroiled there? Yeah, this is your burrito man, that's everything wrapped up in a protein packed meal. And I'm going to cut it open for you right now and show you the center of this puppy. We're going to try this stuff out. Super hot. Super, super hot. Alright, if you don't mind, if you can, can you zoom out for me a little bit? Alright. Now, I'm going to bring the camera over here so you all can see quite exactly how it is. Let me get right into it. Hang on one second. Look at that there. See the pepperoni? the pickle, the noodle, the meat, and the carbs, all in one. That is your burrito, man. And I'm telling you, it's delicious. Me and my daughter are gonna try it as soon as I'm done letting it cool off. It is steaming. Now, hold on. Let me get right into what I'm gonna do with this leftover food. Get that out of the way. You're gonna keep this plastic bag, chip bag that we had, and we're gonna dump this stuff right onto it. Boom. Ah. Kaylee, are you excited?
excited to eat this? Uh-huh. I mean, you're going to love it. I say I will. This is going to be a surf and turf. All y'all people out there. You're going to use a spoon and you're just going to flatten this puppy out. Flatten it out like it's a queso dip. Fondue pop. And the best way to do it, okay, is to use another bag. God, I'll tell you how handy bags come in. There, I'll tell you what. Lucy, you ready to eat some food too, baby? I know this looks ridiculous, like it wouldn't taste good at all, but I swear to you, this is a delicious meal and people go crazy over it. Once you give it to someone that's never had it before, they'll be like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe you did this with just all those simple ingredients. Now I told you, these six soups made that big burrito and this big pizza looking thing. Now some people like to add dough, like uh, crackers to it and make it more doughy. I don't like that. That gives you the gut. I already got enough of that. I don't want any more of it. Okay, sorry. Appreciate it. But you know, some people in there just want it to be extra filling because they don't get to eat this very often. Now, that we got that done. Remember I said surf and turf, right? Well, here comes the surf. We're going to add that tuna right on top. Beef crumble it up. And you don't need to use the whole thing, but I'm going to use the majority of it because I'm freaking starving. Okay? Now. Make sure to get it nice and even. I love it nice and even. Try to zoom in on that a little bit for me, Kaylee, my precious assistant. Okay. Now. I did. Let's get right into something else. All right, y'all. Now that we got the tuna on top, you're gonna want to make it, you know, even. Alina right, Solitary, 31 and 2. 21 and 3 if you keep on yapping. Anyway, I love her. Go give her some snackies, Kaylee. She sees us making all this food. She wants some more. Okay. Surf and turf, man. I know it doesn't go well, like you think, but there's a lot of people out there that do this, okay? Mix up the beefs with the tuna and the fish. We're going to sprinkle some of this beautiful stuff on top. Just like so. And I cooked this meat with the garlic powder, man. So this stuff is just smelling so good. You have no earthly idea. Try to get every spot. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. Woo. Bowl is hot. All right, try to spread it around a little bit. Now, we got that done. We got the meats on top. Oh, forgot one thing. The pepperoni, of course, that swine. You don't need a lot of it, just a little hint of it every now and then. Go get your spoon, Kaylee. Okay. So we can enjoy this delicious prison meal. Protein pack, carb pack meal right here for y'all. Now, this is the special sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle it oh so slightly. And I'll tell you, this sauce is used by plenty of restaurants for different things. This is really what gives it a good kick. But once you're done with this, you're gonna use one of your extra seasonings And sprinkle it around. Oh, wait first. 
the pickle. It's okay. All right. So, get the pickle on there, get the seasoning, shake it up good. You're not going to use the whole thing, this is just to top it. A little saltiness. I like my stuff salty. And that tuna gets bland, so you're going to definitely have to sprinkle it up there. Alright, now that that's done, this is to give it a little crunch. I love to eat stuff with a little bit of crunch, okay? So, I got me some sour cream and onion chips. Give it a little dash here and there. Boom! We got ourselves a pizza. All right, let's go move on to the next thing really quick. I'll do it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna give you a close-up zoom in on this puppy. Look at that. I know it looks like a hot mess, but 